Hey, what's up? My name is Josh, and on this channel, me and my wife, Brittany, we love going out to yard sales, estate sales, and like thrift stores, anywhere really that we can get inventory to sell on eBay. We document it right here on YouTube. We also share a little bit of info on our Instagram. You can find it at Flips Finds Fun. Or if you're right here on YouTube, we just want to say thank you. You like this kind of stuff, and that's what we love sharing with this community. We also run a really little fun reseller coffee brand called Bolo Brew, which we'll have links in the description. There's tons of links down there on products we use and things that we do to resell on eBay. But in this video, you are gonna be able to find some of those things with us. We went to some yard sales and shout out to my awesome wife who found stuff that I either passed by or would not have picked up. So we want you to join along with us and let's go check out some yard sales. Buy all those tools. <laughs> oh really? I mean, I'm just looking. So. I know, I know. I'm just <laughs> hey, you'll get it sold though. You will get oh, it I sold. You were the other no, no, no. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I just show people, I'm like, look, look what you can find out there. Well, what's your site? Uh, that's what we do at night. We watch YouTube. <laughs> flips finds fun. It's oh, okay. Three little words to just. Yeah. Yeah, we'll like you and share you. That's what we do. Yeah, yeah, and that's what we just show people. Like this, our full time income is like reselling stuff, but we also just find it for collectors, and we just go, hey, don't let it go to waste. Don't throw it away. You know. Yeah. Well, Give it a new good. home. That's yeah. kind of what we're doing. That's My, good. Uh, aunt died, and we got a lot of her. Stuff, yeah, so. you're right. And you're just. <laughs> we had, we don't have the attachments to it. So. Right. Right. Yeah. What? I get to have a new piggy bank. Me too. I get to have a new piggy bank. Gotta see it price. So. She said, talk to you about the camera. Yeah. I got the. I think this is the charger for it. I believe so. I think so. It's one that looked like it matched. Um. I didn't even look to see what the thing, the value of the thing is. It, if everything's good, that's what I said, the body, mm -hmm. it's going for like 35. Um, lens, I still got to look and see, you know? Yeah. It's like, because the preferred brand is still the Canons. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, like everybody what goes after 35, this. 14? Um, probably couldn't go that high. Probably do 20 bucks. Sure. That'll work? Yeah. Okay. All right. 20 and 5. Yeah. 20 on this. And 5 for those. That's fine. She owes you 50 right Thank you. Oh, you found a good Halloween. I did. <laughs> that's cool. You got a box, box there with more, though. Oh, that's cool.
How you doing? Uh, only thing I'll pick up um, orange canister set like the green one you got. That's complete. It's full. She went to five bucks. Mm hmm. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. All right, love you. Bye. All right, here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. You have a good day. You too. Please don't run. Hey, how's it going? It's 44. Mm hmm. Just an NFL Terry. Oh, that's nice. That's nice right there. Yeah, roll cap. Uh huh. I mean, that's two packs, but twenty-seven dollars. A bird. Oh, the, I didn't see that. Yes. <laughs> I'm a I'm specifically a Chris Cooley fan, so. But. <laughs> you find anything, Three dollars. Three. Well, it's cool. It's probably worth some money, but because I've never opened it. I never took it out of. I mean, you can do that, but I never. I right. Yeah. She's in the oh yeah, she's intact. But the guy next one, he was like my favorite guy that season, so one of my friends bought it. Nah, and I kept it, kept it. I got two grandkids, boys. <laughs> I, I don't have any girls. Yeah, they don't, they're like, no. I don't want this. I know. Yeah. You got three bucks for me? I thought I would keep it for a while. <laughs> then buy it. Huh? So then buy it. Speed cart. I'm gonna go check. Is it outside, inside? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Some stuff in the kitchen, and then if you go to the first bedroom on the right. Okay. Hey. How's it going? Where's your 
I do. I always just like to see what goodies are out here. <laughs> I know. That's that's the fun of it. It's just a bedroom in the kitchen. Hey, buddy. That's just stuff in the bedroom. That's a ninja blender. It's a whole box of Lisa stuff out there, so we're going to go find it. Okay. Let me see. Let's go. Oh, probably not. Well, I could use this. Hold that. It happens a lot on this. I just, I was like, for five bucks, I didn't know. Mario Super Slugger. Oh, yeah. Good find here. Well, I wanted to look at this cart, or if you want to look. I'll stay here with them outside. Was some of the golf stuff for sale? Sir? Any of the golf stuff for sale? Well, just the, um, this one here. Oh, uh, okay. I don't know what that is, but it's something to do with golf It, it, it helps, um, pick them up. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't know if the cart and all that no. stuff. Okay. He's not going to part with that. <laughs> <laughs> I think you like where I am. Yes. Yes, my mom would have got along very well. Yeah, do you want another Ninja Blender? Uh, I would, I mean, if you look it up, because I think some, or it's kind of like everything some do better. Yeah, she knew Dave. Everything. I just can't get it together, so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but all, any of the toys. They're playing now, but we're not taking it yet. We're, we're going to get that. Oh, come on, Mom. How much is the, how much is the chair? Fifteen. Fifteen? Mm -hmm. What did you say, fifteen on the Yeah, should be able to get it in the SUV. All right, so twenty. Yes, sir. There you go. All right, so those were the yard sales, garage sales, whatever you call them in your area. I see different names all the time, but now I want to cover with you some of those finds. You know, we picked up one thing personally, and then I need your help, so don't tune out because there's one thing that I can't find a lot of info on, but I do want to give you a kind of depiction on, you know, why we pay the price we pay, some stuff we got a great deal on. Sometimes I don't mind paying up for a few things, but I'll give you a breakdown on what we spent and what we're projected to make and then how we also make decisions on things that we're like do we take a chance on this so let me show you some of the finds from these uh yard sales and please stay tuned there's going to be a part two by the way as well because we have a lot more yard sales from this video i just didn't want to make a really long video so this will be a continuation part two of the rest of the day and we'll do the exact same thing show you some uh, items we picked up and what they will potentially make for us in profit. So here we were at the very first yard sale. Uh, saw this Sony A230. All the manuals, the battery charger, everything's in there. They paid a big price when they got it. it looks like a Best Buy tag or I don't know. But this, um, I, I was in there and I looked up the camera just body and it looks like it was going like 35 40 bucks. He said, you know, will you do this price? I said, I can do $20. He said, okay. But looks like with everything with the box, the charger and all that should bring in about a hundred dollars. We also have these, uh, breast cancer awareness dance goes in really, really good condition. Paid $5 on those. We have those listed already at $35 plus shipping. Got a couple watchers on that. And we stopped by at this sale, which I'll move this. We got a very big set of Tupperware. There's actually two more inside of there. It's seven or eight pieces of Tupperware. Um, all the lids were with it. They were a little discolored, like they got faded or 
I don't know how they had them displayed, but still in this condition, they should bring in about $40 plus shipping. We paid $5 on that as well. Then we stopped by this sale and well, I'll talk about these. Uh, if I had picked up more of these, they would be good, but these roll caps are, I guess, becoming hard to find. This should be about $10, not a huge sale, but this right here, uh, Project Runway, my wife was kind of stalking it on the table and she heard the lady at the yard sale quote a price of $3 to somebody else. They put it down, she looked it up, scooped it up. This has a little bit of box damage. Like I said, they're selling for 60 and 70. We may throw $50 on there and let it just go really well. Now I had to get this for myself. This is when you can also just buy for yourself. I am a Chris Cooley fan for our Washington football team. That was a really cool 75th anniversary jersey. I pay $20, so that's just $20, you know, that I spent. So, but then we went to this last one. This is something that I passed by. There was a Wii, a couple controllers, the power cords, the Mario game is in there. Wii Sports is in there. We do have the bow crossbow training game, which isn't great, except we do have the accessories. Yeah, lots of accessories, a few extra games. And then we also have the steering wheels and Mario Kart. Conservatively, with this bundle and the games, I can probably get about $80, and we paid $5 on that as well. So really, really good find. I walked right past it, went inside the house. My wife said, hey, you know, there's a box of Wii stuff for $5. So like I said, shout out to my wife. She's always taking better time looking at yard sales when I'm just kind of rolling in looking for, you know, the crazy stuff. And the very last thing that we picked up at this, like, yard slash estate sale was this rattan chair. This is where I need your help, okay? It is aluminum framed. It's got this really cool pattern. I, I saw it, my wife saw it. She said $15. We were already spending five on the Wii, so we were just like, all right, let's just take a chance on it. Because I looked underneath, and if you know, uh, if I can get all the way down, oh, Right there is a Pier 1 sticker. If you know anything about Pier 1, that stuff is becoming pretty exclusive. A lot of their stores have closed down. And I don't know what this goes for. Um, it's really unique. I found, I'll put a little comp up here. Not exactly the same, but it was a Pier 1 aluminum frame, black and white. Had a lot more of the design down the arms and everything. But they were asking seven hundred dollars. I, I think conservatively a hundred bucks. But let me know in the comments if you've seen one, if you know what it goes to. It was just a really cool accent piece. All right, so a fun little breakdown on everything I just showed you: the camera, the shoes, the Tupperware, the run, uh, Project Runway doll, the Wii Plus games jersey, which you know isn't going to account for a sale. The chair, don't know a price yet, and the little uh, cap gun caps. This is what we paid for it, and this is what our potential sales. Coming out to, we spent $74 with keeping the jersey and not knowing the chair. Still brings us a projected sales of $315. Now, of course, this is before shipping and, you know, fees and everything associated with eBay, but still not bad considering I got to keep one personal thing and figure out if that chair has some good value. So there we go, just a few little items that we picked up at, I think, four stops, which wasn't bad. We went to a total of 15, so you definitely wanna check out the next video. I'll try to have a uh, card for it at the end, you know, how all these fun YouTube things work. But we wanna make sure that you can find as much information about things that, you know, like I said, I either pass by or uh, chairs. I. It should bring some value, but we did want to bring you some of the stuff that you can go out and find at your local thrift store, garage sale, or estate sale. Great ways to make a good source of income on eBay. And I just want to say thanks again for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to like this video. And like I said, check out some of these other videos. We have a great playlist on how we've done everything in our eBay shed and 
how we've done that whole project here. And then one of our most recent videos will be available for you right there. But be sure to tune back in. We'll see you again next week.